Hey guys, welcome back to the Cape Coral Life. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Mark Ammons. I'm a real estate agent down here in Southwest Florida. And today we've got a really fun trip planned. I'm gonna throw the jet ski in the water over at the Horton boat ramp on the east side of Cape Coral here. And we're gonna head down to Sanibel Island. I have not been down there since Hurricane Ian hit and uh, I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous to see what it looks like. I'm not sure how far we're gonna go. Uh, first stop is gonna be to the lighthouse area to check that out. And then we'll see if we wanna make it any farther. It's a little bit windy today, so there might be a little bit of chop. So we'll see how far we make it, but I'm excited to take you guys along. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Guys, we just got in the water here at the Horton boat ramp. It's a little windy today. There's a little bit of chop on the water, so that might slow us down a little bit over there. And it's probably going to be a little bit of a, a cold, wet ride. Uh, it's February 15th right now, and uh, the night temperatures have gotten down to the 50s a couple days, and so that really drops. That really drops the water temperature a lot, but. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I've been in a lot worse shot than this. It'll be a little bumpy along the way, but we should have a lot of fun. So uh, you guys stick along and uh, let's go over to Sanibel. Guys, here we are at the start of the miserable mile, the uh, no wake zone that runs over here. So behind me right there, it's kind of right where Tarkin Point is, so right at marker 92. Uh, you gotta go no wake for a minute. So it's not the most fun part of the trip, but there's some cool islands around here that you can see and uh, everyone's in the same boat. But yeah, it's a nice day. You know, it's so funny. It's mid-February and the water's a little chilly and you know, you could probably complain about it being a little windy and a little chilly. I think right now it's in like the mid 70s. It's going to get up in the 80s today. But everything's relative, man. Like, it's mid February. We're out on a jet ski heading to islands. So, it's super cool. One of the awesome things about living in Southwest Florida is we get to do this stuff all year long. So, again, if you are thinking about making the move down here, this is the kind of stuff that you're into. You literally can do this 12 months out of the year. I say, hey, we're coming to the end of our no wake zone here. We can start having some fun, but I do want to point out, so since Hurricane Ian, uh, a lot of the navigational markers and signs and things that would normally let you know where no wake zones and manatee zones and resume normal operation, most all those signs have been missing. So you kind of need to know where all these different zones are so you're not uh, going too fast when you're not supposed to be. Uh, so just look on a chart, but yeah, hopefully they'll get some of these back up. But right now, like all of them are missing. But uh, hey, we're there right now. So I'm going to get this thing moving and we're going to get down to Sanibel. I'll see you down there. All right, guys, so we just pulled up to Sanibel Island and behind me, you can see the iconic lighthouse, which is still standing, which is amazing. They've got the whole area kind of fenced off because I'm sure there is a lot of, a lot of dangerous stuff over there. But uh, yeah, this is my first time seeing Sanibel in months and months. It's probably been since maybe July, uh, July or August since we've been here. 
and uh, it looks a lot different. But you know, the pictures that I saw actually made it look like there was a lot fewer trees here than there really are. Uh, I mean, a lot of the trees are pretty damaged. You can see back here. But you know, a lot of the pictures I saw, it almost made it look like every single tree had been wiped out, which it hasn't. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to anchor the jet ski off and uh, go start walking around. Oh, there's some dolphins. Some dolphins playing. All right, guys, here we are at the Lighthouse Beach Park area of Sanibel Island. And uh, definitely looks a lot different. So I got the jet ski anchored off. And I will tell you, so this beach is not open yet. And when I, the, the water's kind of murky right now. So it's normally fairly clear, but uh, there's a little windy today and a little choppy. So there's a lot of sand kicked up. And so you really can't see what you're stepping on. And I always wear these little boat shoes um, or like water shoes when I'm out on the jet ski. And there's a lot of debris in the water. So they haven't done anything in terms of cleaning this beach up because it's just not open yet. But there's a lot of debris in the water. You're stepping on a lot of stuff. You can't really see what you're stepping on. So it's a little nerve wracking. But there's the lighthouse, guys. She's still standing. So I think it lost one leg during the storm. And they have, uh, they're in the process of repairing that. And uh, they've got it all fenced off here. But, um, you know, it doesn't look as bad as I thought. Like I said, it's it's in pretty rough shape, but you know, a lot of the trees that I thought were gonna be gone are still standing. And the beach itself looks pretty good. There's a ton of shells here. Sanibel is like one of the best beaches in the world for finding seashells on. And since this beach isn't open right now, no one's really out here picking them up. So there's a ton laying around. It has to do with how the island runs east to west and the way the currents go. So it just pushes a lot of seashells onto the beach from the currents. But yeah, guys, there's the, uh, there's the lighthouse. So it doesn't look bad. Pretty impressive. So this lighthouse dates back to, I think like the 1800s. It's a pretty old lighthouse. And, uh, I'm so, so, so happy that it, it fared as well as it did in the storm. But yeah, I'm glad you guys got to see that. I'm happy to be here. Uh, it looks better than I thought, and that's a good thing. So we're gonna keep walking around. I'll show you guys around, and then uh, we might move to a different part of the island here in a little bit.
All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that footage. Man, this place has come so far. You know, all the pictures and all the videos that I saw of Sanibel right after the storm, and it was crushing. And it definitely still has a long way to go, but it's really come a long, long way, and it's so encouraging to see. By the way, it's very windy, so I, I'm gonna turn this way. Uh, it's pretty windy today, so I apologize for that. Um, hey guys, I really hope y'all enjoyed this one though. Unfortunately, I am out of time. Uh, I've got to zip all the way back on the jet ski to Cape Coral. It's a little choppy, so I can't go super fast, and I've got to go get my kids from school. So I'm going to have to cut it short here, uh, but we'll come back and we'll do more. Uh, when I have a little bit more time, we'll, we'll scope out some other areas. And as the beaches here on Sanibel start to reopen, we'll check some of those out, bring the kids over, and just really kind of keep you in the loop on what's going on here. You know, I know there's probably people watching who have fond family memories of this island that have been here and spent time here and love this island as much as a lot of the people who live here do and I know it's important to you and so I'm hoping that bringing this content to you guys and kind of documenting the rebuild of the island is helpful. Um, again, if you're even thinking about moving down here, you live down here already and you'd like some help navigating your housing market, you're buying or selling a home, let me know. I've got a whole team behind me. Uh, me, my business partner, AJ Ackerman and Team Elevate are here to help you. So give us a call. We would love to work with you. And uh, really appreciate you guys watching and tagging along. As always, thanks for tuning in. Be well, and I'll see you on the next one.